What's been the most pleasing aspect for you personally uh, during this campaign? I think the fact that we're getting a lot of consistency in our performances, we're getting uh, comfortable and around each other, we've got uh, relationships building on and off the field in partnerships and uh, it's great to see that uh, the boys are playing with such confidence. Uh, uh, we're quite relatively a young group with a lot of experience and uh, I think we thrive on the pitch and we play for each other, we're close and it's a great part to be a part of. That kind of familiarity, if you like, is born from years and years of playing rugby together. You're no strangers, are you? No, I think a lot of us, there's a crop of us come through age grade together and uh, uh, we know each other quite well, so it's almost like we've, uh, we've come through the ranks together and now we're here at the top. And uh, yeah, once you get familiar, boys are comfortable with each other and it, it just creates a nice that atmosphere in around the squad. A lot's been made of the maturity and the togetherness of this squad. What do you put that down to? You guys have have played a lot of rugby together at age grade, for example. Yeah, definitely. You know, there's a lot of players here now who have who have come through from from age grade rugby. We spent a lot of time together at age grade. Uh, you know, in the under twenties World Cup, we got great friends. You know, and you know, learned a lot about each other all on and off the pitch. And you know, I think that's the togetherness that you see it now. Looking back specifically at the Junior World Championship in 2008, it was on home ground. What are your memories from that time? Um, well, first of all, I was told was when you go have a junior world championship, you go to somewhere exotic. But being told you having three weeks in Swansea wasn't that great, to be honest. But um, no, it was. Um, we had a pretty good Six Nations, and uh, coming into the tournament, we were, I think, quietly confident we could do quite well. We had a reasonably tough group, but um, it was a real, quite a strong team looking back. And um, yeah, we got a, a good start against Italy and Japan, and then we had a pretty big match against France, it was a pretty uh, physical affair like any normal match against a French team and we just about pipped them at the end there. So it was, uh, it was a great comeback by the boys and something that uh, I think we thrived on at the end, it was just that pressure and I think we, that never say die attitude really. France was just an unbelievable game to be part of, you know it looked as though we were out of the game and we managed to grab uh, a try right at the end and then they kicked off to us and we just had to go the length of the field to score again and thankfully we did. Uh, John spread the ball over the top to myself and uh, yeah, I just dived in, you know, and the boys were just jumping around going crazy and uh, yeah, it was a great hell of a feeling and um, just great to be part of. We've already talked to Lee Halfpenny about the winning try from that game. It sticks in his mind as a pivotal moment of his career. Would you say the same? I think I chucked it with my eyes closed to be honest. I, was, uh, I wasn't really looking and to be honest, Lee finished off tremendously well, like it was a great finish by him and, and it was just an ecstasy feeling really, the boys were jumping around and it was a great feeling to come back and it was a, a memorable uh, occasion really. Less than six months later you're pulling on the full senior Welsh jersey, does that show that the leap from Junior World Championship under 20 rugby to senior international rugby isn't that far a leap? For me it flew by, I just couldn't believe how, how quick it came around really, um, didn't expect it at all, but it just proves, you know, the who knows what's ahead, you know, you could be six months around the corner, you know, you're putting on the, the Welsh jersey, is unbelievable, and um, you're putting on the Welsh jersey, doesn't matter what, what age or what it is, you know, you're representing the country, and it's just a very proud moment for, for yourself and, and all your friends and family, you know, because they, they know how hard you have to work to, to, earn, to earn that jersey. Half penny Great has kick. slotted over the conversion. What a finish at the Liberty Stadium in Swansea. Glory for the Welsh youngsters. It prepares you for every, everything that, that uh, international rugby gives you, you know, the, the, the massive crowds you know, and um, all the media things as well that, that come with the job you, you experience at the age grade as well. And I think it just prepares you all, all, all round for, for international rugby.